So, so, so Sarah was a nice girl, right? But she was like really mad and she was like, I've had it. I've had it. It was so funny watching her get mad because she's just like a really happy person. And she was like, that's it. That's it. I'm going to start being a bitch. I'm going to start being a bitch. I've had it. And I was like, what's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. We have so much drama. Secret sneaky snake drama. All right, girls, as always, it's all for entertainment purposes only. Uh, this is my opinion, my conspiracy all right, I gotta make this video quick, girl, because my fat ass is hot. It is so hot today, girl. Got all these lights on my fat ass, girl, all over the place. We're gonna shoot this video, girl. We're gonna get right into it. All right, so here's the tea. So I am so excited, girl, as you can see. Ah. I freaking bought the bear palette, girl. That's what I'm calling it. I want to call it, I was calling it the mosquito palette, girl, but it's not a mosquito. It's like Moschino, Moschino, whatever, girl. I'm going to call it the bear palette, okay? So one of my subscribers had messaged me on Instagram, and I never checked them, girl. So I just like happened to check it. All right, so a subscriber sent me a message and was like, look, the palette is out. It's on Sephora. It's live. You can go buy it. And it was like really late at night, girl. And I just happened to see it, and I'm like, oh. I literally ran my fat ass to my laptop, opened it up, girl. Flips hair, girl. Pulls out MacBook Pro from Louis Vuitton bag starts typing away sephora.com i get on there and i see that the bear palette is in stock girl and i freaking buy i should have bought more but i don't want to be greedy girl but i bought one and it went through everything went through and i was like yes 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 and i like snapchatted it girl and people were like oh my god you got the palette and that's when the drama started to unfold I got so many messages. People were really upset that they could not get their hands on the palette. So what the kids are saying is that the palette went on sale on Sephora, right? And nobody kind of knew, right? So it just like, and only like a certain people knew when it was gonna go up. So it went on sale and then instantly it was gone. Like it was sold out. And then a couple hours later, it went back on sale and then boom, it was gone. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what the kids are saying. And then people were saying that people were bragging that they had bought five palettes and, and people were like really upset because they really wanted this palette. Nobody, people were saying they didn't get an email notification that it was even for sale because if you really want something on there and it's sold out, you can get like a notifying email when it comes back in stock. Like supposedly nobody got that. Well then the real sneaky part is girl, if you go to Sephora.com, the palette has like good stars, right? But if you look more detail into the reviews, there are more bad reviews on this palette than there are good reviews. So then people were saying that Sephora was deleting negative comments. And that doesn't really make sense. Like if you have more negative reviews and positive, then you should have like one star or something like that. It really wasn't reflecting. That's what people were saying. But then I started reading the reviews, girl. And this is where it got really messy, girl. I successfully pay the whole set of the Moschino Sephora collection for each of three. It's supposed to be a good news for me. Unluckily, today I received emails said that my order status is unsuccessful authorization. WTF, what is going on? on all the others st the all of the stuff and the order from my from my something girl she don't know how to spell who lives overseas all a sham on sephora management and the process of that if you don't have enough stock you should not launch it with with a bad system sephora stay out and say something compensate me for three whole sets of the collection so somebody said okay and then another person said i have had two of my Four items I wanted separate. I've been trying all day to get the bear palette. I had it in my car a few different times. I checked my bank after getting a third text telling me I spent so much money at Sephora. I checked my bank and I've been charged two more times other than the two I've already made. They are almost 60 charges and only two email confirmations for the two things I ordered. And literally it goes on and on and on. Like there's so many negative comments about people not able to get their bear. Now, I'm telling you, it's a big deal, girl. It's a big deal. This is one of the most coolest palettes that's been out for a while. I always talk about like innovation and how other palettes are just so boring, girl. This sick, this palette is so sickening. People are, are going crazy, girl. And I was like, I feel so lucky I was able to get it, but I feel like, you know what? I'm being all happy about it, and I'm pretty sure someone out there is gonna put some bad spell on me or something, and I'm gonna get an email saying, up, oh, order did not ship, too bad, girl, bye. And I'm gonna be sitting there like, Girl, bye, okay? Girl, bye, another lie. Sephora, goop me the house, girl. But hopefully, fingers crossed, girl, I'll be able to get it, girl, and I can review it on this busted-ass channel. 
but I feel like some of the people who are like bring I feel like some of the people who are leaving negative comments are like really nice people like this reminds me girl of my friend named Sarah like love her to death girl I lo she's actually a straight woman girl she's not transgender or anything like that girl she's like a real girl so like she used to date guys right who were totally out of her league girl not, not to say that she was you know a bad looking girl you know she was cute or whatever but she would date guys who were like girl I think he's just with you for probably for your money girl but he just it just doesn't like match up right so she would be like really nice right and these guys would always do her so freaking dirty right and you know it got to the point where I was like girl I would tell her all the time be careful watch out be careful watch out I'll try to be a good friend but she don't listen girl you know how y'all we all have those friends who don't listen to our advice they ask you your advice but they never take your advice I hate it so mad so by this time girl I was like so over it, girl we're in I'm in her car and uh, she had drove all the way from the south side, all the way to the north side to go bring this guy some lunch. And then she brings it to him and he's like, oh, that's not what I wanted and stuff like that. And I'm just like, girl, we done drove all the way, girl. And you, I, honestly, whatever, girl, I didn't say anything. I'm just down for the ride, had a good time. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a new location, part of the town. So a whole set of new guys pop up on the grinder, girl. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, never seen you before. So I'm having a good time, right? She on the other hand was like so mad, right? So. Circling back to the girls on Sephora leaving negative comments that I feel are nice people. So, so, so Sarah's a nice girl, right? But she was like really mad and she was like, I've had it. I've had it. It was so funny watching her get mad because she's just like a really happy person. And she was like, that's it. That's it. I'm going to start being a bitch. I'm going to start being a bitch. I've had it. And I was like, girl, she was serious. She was serious that she was going to start being a bitch. And I was just like, how, how does one in their mind say I'm gonna start being a bitch you know I'm you know it's just so funny and then like it lasted like maybe like one day and she was back to being nice again like she couldn't keep up this I'm bad woo 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 I'm a bitch type attitude she couldn't do it like some girls can do it girl but this one could not girl it lasted like one day like that boy had caught her text her she never even answered her phone girl by the next day she's all there hanging out with him again it's like girl what happened to you being a bitch i'm gonna be a bitch like like you know what i'm talking about like i know you know those people who are like really nice and they finally get fed up and they're like you know what i'm tired of being nice i'm gonna start being a bitch so i just found that so funny girl and it never lasted so if you know anyone out there who uh and wait and so then like after a couple days later, I was like hanging out with her again and I was like, so what happened to you being a bitch, girl? What happened to you being a bitch, girl? She was like, I didn't know I did. I was like, you know what? You can't do it because you're a naturally happy, loving, lovable person. You just can't be a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, she just can't pull it off. Like, if you're like a naturally happily person, it's kind of hard for you to just be a bitch. Anyways, girl, I don't this video is gonna get demonetized. I'm cussing so much girl But anyways girl, let me know down below if you're excited for this palette Did you order your palette? Did you have difficulties on your palette? If you're frustrated that Sephora is Handling this process so crazy leave your frustration down below let it out girl Let it all out you can you can be a bitch in this comment section in this video girl. It's totally okay Oh, yeah, don't forget. I still have the back to school giveaway going on We have a couple more days left till the giveaway ends Don't forget you can always go back to that video and to the back to school giveaway video and you can still enter girl So come on try to win this back to school backpack girl And so like I know that the Moschino palette is like a total gimmick, right? It's like it's like a bear like it could be like the palette could be like, you know, in a square, like any other palette girl, whatever, little bar or square, whatever. But the fact that it's in a bear, right? Shaped as a bear. I think that's what's so cool about it. And that's what I like about it because it's something different, something new, something fresh. You know, and I wish more companies would start doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like moving in toward palettes that are like shaped like things. I think that would be so cool. And it's just like a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? Like I always feel like everything's been done before and I feel like if you have like a gimmick or a niche, it kind of sticks out. So I, I kind of like it. But I feel... Mark my words, this will be one of the best selling palettes for the 2017 holiday for the 2017 holiday season at Sephora, girl. I'm telling you, this will be under so many people's Christmas trees. So if you can get it now, go ahead and get it. Or you can just get it and put it away until Christmas. Christmas is coming around the corner. But I just think it's gonna be hard to get. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people want it just for the pure nostalgia of it being a bear and so cute and stuff like that. So I really do I really do hope people do buy it. Because I know I'm gonna love it. And when I get it, I'm gonna swatch it, I'm gonna review it. And I'll give you an honest review, girl. Oh, I wanted to show you this brand new cologne that I got, girl. Hold on. Okay, so here's the packaging. It's by Dior, and you can kind of see some of it right there. And I don't really see a name. This is Dior Home and it says cologne. And then when you open it here. 
It's, it's called natural spray in the back it says natural spray. All right, so then you have like, okay, so then like you have like this bee little thing there, like a cockroach or whatever that is, girl, sticking in the house. And this is it right here. This is the bottle. It looks so cool. But I think it's like organic, like it's made out of like raw materials, I think. Do not take my word for it, but I bought it because it smells like oranges. It's literally smells like oranges. And every time I tell people about it, like, oh, hold on. Ah, oh, so like, oh. it just like, literally like, it like perks you up and it wakes you up because it smells so fresh and clean. And so this is one of those colognes that like when you put it on, other people are not gonna like be like, what are you wearing? What's that smell? Because it's not very potent. Like, it doesn't release a fragrance where everybody can smell it. It's just kind of like just with you. So when people get really close to you, they can smell it on you, but not like around. But I like it because it doesn't, it doesn't smell like the next day, right? Like you put all over your clothes. The next day, it's not gonna have like this weird type of like odor. It's just, it's just so clean and it's beautiful because I feel like and I don't know much about colognes right I just know if I like them or not but I know like those really really like mass marketed colognes um they tend to like leave a, a weird odor the next day on the clothes where like the really good ones don't but I also noticed that the really good ones aren't really po powerful where everyone else knows what you're wearing but all I know is that this smells oranges but specifically like an orange peel like if you just peeled oranges is that's what it smells like and I find that so refreshing and clean. And I tell people and I'm like, oh yeah, it smells like oranges. And they're like, what, what? And I'm like, you don't, you don't tell me you don't smell oranges. Like literally, if you're watching this video and you go to the your store, I need to have it at Macy's too, or wherever you're going, Saks, Neiman's, Nordstrom's, wherever they have a Dior fragrance counter girl, they gotta have this one. And just give it a, like get a sample, smell it, cause it smells like oranges. I'm telling you, I'm not going crazy here but I really do like it. And here's the top of it. If you're into like bottle designs, it says CD right there. And then it says Christian Dior. My friend, oh my God. So she used to call herself like CD the house, like a cross dresser. And so she would always buy Christian Dior stuff because it said CD all the time. And she was like, oh yeah, girl, CD. Christian Dior's for cross dressers the house. I'm like, oh girl, whatever. But I love her so much. But anyways, oh, it smells so good. So I'm, all right, so I want to show you the sprayer here. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's not like, but you know, it does a trick, girl. You can kind of see it there, a little watery, but yeah, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like fresh oranges right now. So that's the fragrance I've been wearing the last couple of days. I really do like it a lot, especially for like the summer because it's not like a heavy type fragrance. It's very light and I, I like that. I really enjoy it, but I don't know what I, the, the, the colognes I don't like are the ones that smell like straight up cigars or cigarettes. And so many guys that I know like leather, cigars, smoke, and they like those fragrances. I do not like those. Like, uh, I just don't find them sexy. And I, I can see how some people would find leather, smoke, cigar type smells sexy. But for me, girl, I like florals. Light beautiful, light beautiful fragrances, girl. Like I just ran through some roses, girl, or through a field of gardenias or something like that, girl. You know, I like that stuff. I don't know, but I kind of feel, I'll leave a poll up here if you like those kind of fragrances, just stuff like that, we can talk about that. But as always, girl, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you liked the video, share it. If you didn't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. All right, your next video, peace.